Hello and welcome to the Sunbird Crochet Podcast. My name is Claudia and I'm coming to you from Germany. I'm talking here about my crochet, my knitting, dollhouses, yarn, you name it. enjoying another lovely walk around the botanical gardens here. Look at all these flowers making me so happy. Today is a crazy day but uh, this means pure re relaxation and a bit of time just for myself. And today I would like to talk about one finished object, one FO, so to say, and a work in progress and some exciting incoming. Okay, my finished object is Olivia the Barn Owl. Olivia is a pattern by La Lila Land and I have finished her. Last time I didn't have her feathers on, 
I did that and I added a little mouse here and I embroidered the nose and the little red cheeks for the mouse and it has two tiny tiny ears finished i highly recommend this kit from la lila land and um, i actually got quite a lot of yarn and filling left over not enough to make a second owl but maybe a tiny one a teeny tiny one or another mouse <laughs> i could use I could make another mouse and fill it with catnip. How about that? <laughs> As I said, there's a music box inside and if I pull it down, it's playing Hedwig's song from Harry Potter. It's lovely and certainly not my last crochet project involving a music box. Then I attended the masterclass uh, hosted by Sandra Gutierrez from Plyful.com and the masterclass was all about the cabling method in the Rudens sweater pattern by Linda Skuja. So I've joined the Zoom live and uh, we were able to ask questions first in the chat on, on the side of the Zoom meeting and later also um, in person. But Linda was explaining and showing to us how she is doing the cabling. And I must say that at first I was a little bit lost because what you could see on the screen was her face and her hands. But since the screen was split, whatever you saw was too tiny to read and she had a big chart and I couldn't read this and then she had a small ch chart from which she was working and I couldn't see that at all so that was a problem for me I couldn't I actually didn't know what I was supposed to do we were supposed to do our swatch at the same time as she was and I couldn't I couldn't do that because uh, as I said, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Um, it is, however, part of a chart in the pattern. And I bought the pattern. But I must have missed her saying where to find that chart in the pattern. Otherwise, I would have been able to read it and um, follow along. So what I did was I just tried to keep up watching and listening and at the same time, I was doing something like fudging it at the beginning, um, which is why there is a little bit of a problem down here. But then I was able to catch up when she was showing us how to do the cables. And this, this is her technique. I didn't finish the rest because that's where she said she's going to repeat the same things again according to the chart which I wasn't able to read again um, but I learned how she how her cabling technique is working and um, this is what it looks like on the back she has a technique which I hadn't used before and to be honest I'm not sure if I will use this technique um, I can't obviously talk too much about this technique because that would be giving away parts of a pattern, but I think I will do it slightly different with probably the same look, but with less bulk here. This is a bit too much bulk for my liking compared to the rest. I'm using Holst Garn Super Soft, which isn't super soft. <laughs> It's 100% uh, wool and I'm holding it double to get this uh, yarn weight or to get close to the yarn weight according to the pattern. I've blocked this swatch so it has already puffed and bloomed and the Rudin sweater, I'm sure you saw it in my last episode, I posted a photo of it I believe. 
either in the last or the one before that and it has some parts of it it has a mesh texture texture and others are just plain double crochets and then you've got the cabling sections um i think the rudin sweater looks very beautiful but i have to say that <laughs> i already got distracted again <laughs> but i wanted to talk about this swatch and i will keep this so that i will find out if my gauge is actually okay i haven't checked that already i will do so probably tonight and then i will make yarn plans and yeah, so the Rudin sweater is currently taking a seat on the side, eating some popcorn and watching a movie or something, whilst, whilst Claudia has just received her Murit magazine issue 5, which is also the beginning, yes, of the Murit magazine crochet along. I talked about this before. It's a crochet along run by Alison and her mother Vivian, who have the podcast Keep Calm and Carry Yarn. And they are running this crochet along. You can, you choose any pattern of issue five or one of the previous four issues and you crochet that item and yeah. That's a crochet along, the Murit magazine crochet along. This edition, edition number five, has the theme Highland Retreat. And I'm loving the theme. The patterns in here, we can have a quick flick through. Just have to make sure that I don't show you the patterns, but I, I just show you the pictures of patterns so let's just go through it backwards this is the only knitting pattern in it it's a pair of gloves and then just going through it This is my favorite. This is a design by Ines Rogers. Isn't it beautiful? That's my favorite pattern in the whole magazine. You've done it again, Ines. It's a lovely, lovely addition. I also like this scarf, which is on the front page. Yeah, well, so, have you received your copy already? If so, which one are you choosing to make first? I don't know if I will actually make the jumper first. That's a lot of work. It is beautiful. And talking about Morit, as of today, there is a call for submission for issue number seven. And that's themed. The theme is called Fable. So it's all about fairy tales and myths and um, stories, story time, storytelling. There's a mood board on Pinterest, and if you go to the Murad Magazine website, 
there is a link to that mood board and I feel quite excited about it. <laughs> yes, another one. Last time I spoke about uh, the John Arben Textiles call for submission, which is um, themed the famous garden or gardening. And now we have another fabulous call for submission. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Am I going to do both? Am I going to do one of I of of which one and or none at all? And I just feel inspired and do my own thing just for fun. I don't know. <laughs> what would MacGyver do? <laughs> he would probably invent a crochet machine. Well, let me show you a little bit of footage I've shown you at the beginning of this podcast episode, a little bit of uh, botanical gardens where I've spent my lunchtime today. And at the end, I'm going to show you a little bit of footage from the previous week, roughly. You will see a little bit of crochet, a little bit of, you will see actually my, uh, wet blocking swatch swatch wet wet blocking and a little bit of cats and things i hope that you are having a lovely rest of the day or well, maybe you're watching it in the morning i don't know have a cup of tea at any time of the day enjoy your crocheting your knitting your crafting i hope you are enjoying your magazines your books and I have plans, so many plans and ideas, and I hope I will be able to tell you more about it next time. Keep well and keep looking after yourself. Bye. Oh, Friday night, this Friday night, 22nd, there's going to be the, a social craft night run by and hosted by Mariette, who is the Burfro. And on Saturday, the 23rd, there's going to be, and I'm just going to say it now, even though we haven't talked about the time, but there's going to be a live Instagram video with Marta and me. I don't know when. She mentioned something about early evening. And obviously I'm one hour ahead time-wise so we will have to talk about the time Marta we will have to talk about the time <laughs> but I'm sure we will be able to tell you a time in advance so that it's not just Marta and me talking to ourselves see you there bye <laughs>